So thanks for joining this video. Um, we created a short demo of Apex, our new amplifier, where we'll show various um, parts of what comes with the device and some signals of it. So first of all, what do we use in this video? Uh, of course, top left is Apex itself. Uh, next to that, the Infinity Gel Cap, the TMSI Bluetooth dongle, the cradle, and a USB cable to interface with the device or a personal computer, I should say. Well, after setting up this system um, and getting it out of the box, we can do and prepare our subject. So we started off with an impedance check where we really made sure that all of the impedances are in the range that we want. And after that, we can move on to the resting EEG. So what you can see is myself as a subject, I try to be as relaxed as possible. Uh, you do see some eye blinks in it, of course. Um, in this case, we do show eye blinks, which of course are an artifact, but it's nice to see the signals coming in and really see what you can get out of it. Um, with these eye blinks, you can see it's in average reference mode, as you also see the effect of the eye blink on channels where located far away from the eyes. Yeah, and then uh, we'll move on to an, another measurement where we'll be using the eyes closed condition and the eyes closed condition, you can clearly see the alpha waves coming through. Uh, the alpha waves typically happen because of synchronization in the occipital lobe, and you see those nicely coming along from there on out. Another feature that we have available is the trigger input. Um, and what we did here is to give me some cues based on the trigger where I had to lift my right hand, my left hand, both my hands, or not react at all to the trigger. As you can see in the following part of the video, this is, of course, one of the functionalities that you will really need for event-related potential studies, um, so they can accurately map the trigger related to the response by the brain. And a final condition that we would like to show is the wireless recording, where the subject is uh, positioned in a more uh, challenging condition, in this case, far away from the PC, and you can see that uh, subject at the um, apex in the cradle so that it's easy to wear.